So last night was the Oscars, and uh, of course, there's always a buzz around the Oscars. What is going on? You know, what what did they? What wokeness did they do this time? <laughs> and last night, they certainly were very much uh, supporting Palestine. A lot of that was about Palestine. Good and bad. Good in some ways. I'm, I'm, right now, by the way, you're looking at a protest that was happening outside of the Oscars here in Los Angeles. This was a large pro-Palestinian protest. I actually saw this yesterday. I was in downtown, saw the protest happening. Lots and lots of cops were out, probably more than normal for a protest. To be honest, it was quite a few cops. Not sure if the cops were there because they thought the protest would get out of hand, or I'm not sure if the cops were there because they th they were protecting all the celebrities at the Oscars. I'm not sure, but it was a peaceful protest. People just took this to, to the streets. And since I was there driving around, I can say that it wasn't... Um, you know, it wasn't like a huge inconvenience with these roads being blocked and whatnot. It was it was fine. So good to see big protests. It's good to see people protesting whatever it is they want to protest. I'm in favor of protests. I might not agree with what you're protesting, but I'm in favor of protesting. We got to have that right in this country. But um, this was a very large one. So let's so the, so the so the uh, the Academy Awards. Um, one hand, it's a good thing that there were so many. Uh, celebrities talking about Palestine. It's shocking because typically in the industry, many people have been ultra supportive of Israel if they want to keep their jobs, if they want to keep getting cast into films, if they want um, to keep making films. They've had to be historically very pro-Israel. So this was quite a shift. In fact, let me play this for you. This one is BBC. I know earlier I thought uh, a different TikTok video was BBC. This one is put out by BBC, but these are all of the artists who um, these are all the arti artists who were, or some of the artists who were supporting Palestine. Watch this. Oh, this is uh, what happened to it. Here it, oh, uh, here it is. Some stars, including Billie Eilish, Mark Ruffalo, and Rami Youssef, were red pins to the Oscars. The pins of her artists for Ceasefire, an organization supported by entertainment industry insiders. The group sent an open letter signed by nearly 400 artists to US President Joe Biden, urging him to call for an immediate de-escalation and ceasefire in Gaza and Israel. Director Jonathan Glazer, whose film The Zone of Interest won Best International Film, also focused on the war in Gaza in his acceptance speech, saying he refuted his Jewishness and the Holocaust being hijacked by an occupation. The award ceremony itself was slightly delayed as protesters chanting, End the siege on Gaza now gathered near the venue. US media reported that around a thousand people took part in the demonstration outside the Dolby Theater. Some stars, including Billie Eilish, yeah, Michael I mean, it Obama, wasn't that bad. It wasn't, um, there wasn't really that, you know, the, the protests. I, maybe they delayed the Oscars by just a little bit, but by probably by not much. And there were plenty of celebrities who were all involved. Let me show you this. This is the one that everyone's talking about. What hit the news, what, uh, or made the news is Jonathan Glazer. He is the, um, he made the movie The Zone of Interest, which is about Auschwitz. And he gets up on stage and says that he refutes his Jewishness. That for, Now, that's just a, the, the sentence goes on, but he says, we refute our Jewishness. This made major news. Uh, let me just show you all of these people reacting to him saying we refute our Jewishness. So here's Abraham Foxman saying, um, I am... I am pleased that Zone of Interest was uh, was won the best international film at the Oscars, but as a survivor of the Holocaust, I'm shocked the director would slap the memory of over one million Jews who died because they were Jews by announcing he refutes his Jewishness. Shame on you. There's another one. Every single person in the audience who applauded when Glazer stood up and said, we stand here as men who refute our Jewishness, demonstrated their blatant anti-Semitism. Cheering the denouncement of Jewish identity should cost them not only their jobs, but any and all respect. And here's Batya Angar Sargon, who used to co-host um, Rising with me. She was a guest co-host at times. She says, I simply cannot fathom the moral rot in someone's soul that leads them to win an award for a movie about the Holocaust and with the platform given to them to accept that award by saying, we stand here as men who refute their Jewishness. So what did they really say? Did they really say we refute our Jewishness? Is that what they actually said? Um, here is what they said. Oh, let me uh, get the Past audio from present. here. Let's, let me restart right that now, for you. Our film shows where dehumanization leads at its worst. It shaped all of our past and present. Right now, we stand here as men who refute their Jewishness and the Holocaust being hijacked by an occupation which has led to conflict for so many innocent people. Whether the victims of October the... Okay, so 
They said, we stand here as men who refute our Jewishness and the Holocaust. Whether the victims of October the 7th in Israel or the ongoing attack on Gaza, all the victims of this dehumanization, how do we resist? Okay, let's see what they say again. Right now, we stand here as men who refute their Jewishness and the Holocaust being hijacked by an occupation which has led to conflict for so many innocent people. Okay, so we refute. They're not refuting their Jewishness. They're refuting their Jewishness and the Holocaust being used by the occupation. That's what they clearly said. So they're, so all these people on social media freaking out, and really they're freaking out over nothing because they just cut off. You know, it's like that selective editing. Cut off. The rest of the sentence, the sentence was very clear. They refute their Jewishness and the Holocaust being used as an excuse by the occupation. That's what they're saying. They're not saying we refute our Jewishness. They're not saying we refute the Holocaust. They're saying we refute it's being used. But of course, social media went wild with that, took the clip out of context and spread that around and said, oh, these people are disgusting. And that is just not what they said. And that's the problem with not listening Fully, I mean, we watched that happen over and over and over amongst the, you know, in the, during the Trump years, taking a, a sentence and cutting it off before you hear the rest of it. So that's, um, but what's really interesting, I think, here's also, uh, this is, I don't know who most of these people, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't watch a single one of the movies that ended up being nominated for Best Picture. I haven't seen a single one. I think I, you know, I want to watch, I think, a couple of them. I tried watching uh, I, I one last night I fell asleep. So uh, I, I don't know who half these people are, if not more than half. I don't know any of these movies. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but here is Rami Susef. I don't even know who that is from Little Things, I suppose. Uh, but here he is talking about why all these celebrities are wearing these pins. So here he is. Just explain to everyone what brings you to the Oscars tonight. We're here for poor uh, things. Oh, That's poor things. Look. You know, we've got... We've got these cool outfits. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of us are wearing these artists for ceasefire pins. Yeah. We're calling for immediate. Yeah, tell, tell me about the pin. Yeah, we're calling for immediate, permanent ceasefire in Gaza. We're calling for peace and justice, lasting justice for the people of Palestine. Uh, and I think it's a universal message of just let's stop killing kids. Just explain okay, everything. Okay, great. We're to the Oscars tonight. We're here for poor things. Okay, so poor things. Sorry, so you're here for poor things. I said, like I said, I don't know any of these movies. I don't know who these people are. Uh, but. What is interesting about this is so many celebrities came out, again, talking on behalf of Palestine, something that previously they would not do if they didn't want to dare losing their jobs. But the problem with Hollywood now is it's become so woke that when people see Hollywood get behind some sort of, um, you know, anything, anything Hollywood gets behind or anything the left gets behind, uh, there's a bunch of people who just hate on it simply because the left or Hollywood is, is, is um, you know, advocating for it. And that is, I think, I don't know if it's, on one hand, the more voices, the better, because then people feel comfortable speaking out at the same time. It's a little bit of a double-edged sword when it comes to Hollywood speaking out, because when they speak out, then you've got so many, there's a backlash against Hollywood just because Hollywood's Hollywood and Hollywood's woke. And there's a backlash against wokeism. So double-edged sword, but interesting. Anyway, just wanted to clear up the whole we refute our Jewishness, um, the, the people going crazy about that, that is not what they said. We are seeing a lot of celebrities out there that were very pro-Palestine. Yes, there were protests out there. The protests were peaceful. Uh, and, you know, and then I, you know, people uh, and then that, that was that. I mean, what else is there to say about the Oscars? I don't know. I didn't really watch them. Um because I didn't watch any of the movies, so I was not that interested. Oppenheimer, I've heard that's good. Maybe I'll watch that tonight. Maybe I'll watch that. Hey guys, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like this segment. Now you might be wondering, this seems like it's part of a bigger show. You're right, it is. The full show is at kimiversonshow.com. So what you're watching is just a clip. And if you wanna get the full experience, then you gotta go to kimiversonshow.com. The show airs Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern at kimiversonshow.com. That is where you can watch the full show. Here, you just get clips. So click on the link down below, go to the full show, enjoy. Otherwise, I'll see you next time right here. And be sure once again, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.